This edition of the 2019 National Healthcare Safety Network, or NHSN Quick Learn series, focuses on modifying and interpreting the 2017 Baseline Standardized Antimicrobial Administration Ratio, or SAR, reports. After watching this Quick Learn, you will be able to generate a default SAR report, modify a SAR report, interpret a SAR report, and identify additional resources about the SAR. This is part two of a two-part series on the SAR. This Quick Learn will not cover the SAR definition, how the SAR is used, or differences between the 2014 and 2017 baseline SARs, which are included in part one of this two-part series. Part 1 can be found on the NHSN AUR homepage under Training Materials or at the link provided on this slide. This presentation will also not cover details of the SAR methodology, which can be found in the AUR module protocol at the link provided on this slide. To help support your understanding of the SAR, a link to the AUR website where you will find an in-depth presentation on the SAR under Training Materials is provided on this slide. First, let's go over how to generate a SAR report using the 2017 Baseline SAR. Prior to running any NHSN analysis report, we need to generate new datasets. After logging into NHSN, navigate to Analysis on the left-hand navigation bar and select Generate Datasets. On the Generate Datasets screen, click the Generate New button. It can take several minutes to generate datasets. After generating new datasets, we have the choice of two SAR reports, All SARS and All SARS by Location. First, we will run the default All SARS report, and then we will run the All SARS by Location report with some modifications. Please note, while we will not modify the All SARS report for this example, all NHSN reports can be modified. To run the default All SARS report, navigate to Analysis on the left hand navigation bar and select Reports. Select the Antimicrobial Use and Resistance Module drop-down option and navigate to the Antimicrobial Use Data folder to access 2017 baseline SAR reports. Notice that next to the available SAR reports in the Antimicrobial Use Data folder, the baseline year, 2017, is listed in the title. Select SAR Report, All SARS, 2017 Baseline. Three options are available, Run Report, Modify Report, and Export Dataset. For now, click Run Report to generate the default report. Please note, the report will appear in a separate pop-up window. The 2017 Baseline SAR can be generated for 13 locations, including 8 adult locations and 5 pediatric locations. The standard definitions of each of the SAR locations are available in the NHSN Locations chapter as shown on the screen, which will also be referenced on the resource slide at the end of this presentation. The 2017 Baseline SAR can be generated for 15 antimicrobial categories, including 7 adult antimicrobial categories, 8 pediatric antimicrobial categories, and a SAR for all antibacterial agents for each age group. A complete list of the antimicrobials in each category is available in Appendix E of the AUR module protocol. Forty unique SARs can be generated using combinations of the 2017 baseline SAR locations and antimicrobial categories. A list of all possible SAR combinations is available in Appendix D of the AUR module protocol. Let's review the default view of the output tables for the All SARS report. As shown in the screenshot, the first SAR table is All Antibacterial Agents Used in Adult SAR Intensive Care Units, or ICUs, Wards, Step-Down Units, and Oncology Units. Within the report, 
Each SAR type will be shown in a separate table. If data have been entered for all applicable SAR location types, the pattern continues for the remaining 39 SAR tables. For example, the second SAR table is broad-spectrum antibacterial agents predominantly used for hospital onset infections used in adult SAR ICUs. Please note, these data are for example only. Now let's run the All SARS by Location report with some modifications. From the Analysis Reports page, select SAR Report All SARS by Location 2017 Baseline. To make modifications to the report output, click Modify Report. For more descriptive variable labels on your report, check the Show Descriptive Variable Names box at the top left. For this example, we will use the Time Period tab to display SARS for 2018 only. Under Date Variable, use the drop-down menu to select Summary Year. Enter 2018 for the beginning date and 2018 for the ending date to include data from 2018 only. Let's go to the Filters tab next. This allows you to further filter the data that will be displayed in the report, such as specifying certain criteria to include or exclude. For this example, we want to view the SAR for broad-spectrum antibacterial agents predominantly used for hospital onset infections used in adult SAR ICUs. Select the variable SAR type 2017 baseline and the equal operator. Then, select broad spectrum antibacterial agents predominantly used for hospital onset infections used in adult SAR ICUs. For the remainder of this quick learn, we'll use BSHO as the abbreviation for broad spectrum antibacterial agents predominantly used for hospital onset infections. On the Display Options tab, we can select the time period used to group the data. Remember, SARS can be generated by month, quarter, half year, year, or cumulative time periods. Let's group the SAR by quarter. Select Summary Year slash Quarter in the drop-down menu. Click the Run button at the bottom of the modification screen to generate a report with the specified modifications. Based on our modifications, the output has one table for the BSHO SAR in adult ICUs during 2018. Please note that the column headers have descriptive variable names and the data are grouped by quarter. Now let's go over how to interpret the SAR report output using the modified report we just generated. The title of this SAR report is Broad Spectrum Antibacterial Agents Predominantly Used for Hospital Onset Infections Used in Adult SAR ICUs. Looking at the SAR type column, you can see the abbreviation for this SAR type is Adult BSHO ICU 2017. This report includes two columns to reference the specific location or locations included. The Location column indicates the location name or location, your code value, entered in the NHSN Location Manager. The CDC Location column indicates the CDC location type designated for each individual location. Each row shows the values for one location and one quarter. In the table's first three rows of data, you can see the surgical ICU, denoted as ICUC in the location column, is mapped to the specific CDC location of Inpatient Acute Surgical Critical Care Unit, or inacute CCS. Antimicrobial days, also known as days of therapy, are defined by any amount of a specific antimicrobial agent administered in a calendar day to a particular patient as reported in the Electronic Medication Administration Record, also known as EMAR, 
or Barcoding Medication Administration Record, also known as BCMA. The Antimicrobial Days column in this SAR report includes Antimicrobial Days for BSHO agents. Antimicrobial Days are the SAR numerator. Predicted antimicrobial days are the SAR denominator and are calculated using predictive models developed by CDC and applied to National Aggregate 2017 AU data reported to NHSN from the same group of patient care location types. Separate predictive models were developed for each specific SAR category. Days present are defined as the aggregate number of patients housed in a patient care location or facility any time throughout the day during a calendar month. Estimates for predicted antimicrobial use are multiplied by the number of days present for the time period of interest in order to calculate predicted antimicrobial days of therapy. Please note, because days present are used to calculate predicted values, it is important to verify their accuracy. The SAR is the number of observed antimicrobial days divided by the number of predicted antimicrobial days. The SAR provides a standardized metric of antimicrobial use. To interpret a SAR value, consider whether the SAR is less than, equal to, or greater than 1. A SAR below 1 indicates less antimicrobial use than predicted and may suggest underuse. A SAR the same as 1 indicates antimicrobial use is equivalent to the 2017 referent population's use. A SAR above 1 indicates more antimicrobial use than predicted and may suggest overuse. Please note that a SAR is not a definitive measure of the appropriateness or judiciousness of antimicrobial use, and any SAR value may warrant additional investigation. The SAR p-value is a statistical measure that indicates if observed antimicrobial use is significantly different from predicted antimicrobial use based on the 2017 referent population. A p-value less than 0.05 indicates that the SAR is significantly different than 1. Please note, due to the large number of antimicrobial days recorded and included in the predictive models, most SAR p-values are less than 0.05 and should be interpreted with caution, as statistical significance does not necessarily translate to clinical significance. The 95% confidence interval is a range of values in which the true SAR is likely to lie. If the confidence interval includes the value of 1, then the SAR is not statistically significant. If the confidence interval does not include the value of 1, then the SAR is statistically significantly different from the value of 1 and observed days of therapy are different from predicted days of therapy. Please note, the SAR p-value and the 95% confidence interval will always indicate the same statistical significance and can be interpreted interchangeably. Now let's use everything we learned to interpret one row of the SAR report for BSHO agents used in adult SAR ICUs. During the first quarter of 2018, 24 BSHO antimicrobial days of therapy were reported for patients contributing 608 days present in the Medical Surgical ICU, or MSICU. The predicted antimicrobial days for the MSICU in the first quarter of 2018 was 142.163. The SAR, or ratio of observed to predicted antimicrobial use, was 0 0.169. As you can see, the reported antimicrobial use was significantly different from the predicted use for the MSICU during the first quarter of 2018, with less antimicrobial use than predicted by the 2017 baseline SAR. Please note, SARS are only calculated when the number of predicted antimicrobial days are greater than 1 and the antimicrobial days do not exceed the days present, as noted in the report footnotes. 
In the first row of our SAR report, a SAR was not calculated because the number of predicted antimicrobial days was less than one. The next slide provides some additional NHSN resources. On the NHSN AUR webpage, you can access the AUR module protocol, frequently asked questions, SAR quick reference guides, and other training materials. The NHSN Locations chapter provides information about location mapping and the standard definitions of each of the SAR locations. The Patient Safety Analysis Resources webpage includes a guide to help you modify NHSN reports. CDC also created a document called Strategies to Assess Antibiotic Use to Drive Improvements in Hospitals to help facilities use NHSN AUR data for quality improvement. Thank you for taking the time to watch this CDC NHSN Quick Learn about modifying and interpreting the 2017 baseline SAR reports. If you have additional questions about SAR reports, the AUR module, or NHSN in general, the email address for the NHSN Help Desk is nhsn at cdc.gov.